After my freshman year of college, I did 300 Lee Code problems in 3 months. To be honest, I didn't really understand why people struggled with doing Lee Code. I figured maybe they were just lazy, unmotivated, or both. In my sophomore year, I stopped Lee Coding, began interviewing, and got my internship at Amazon. Over the next two years, I didn't touch Lee Code once because, after all, I had my internships and return offers, so why would I bother when I had a cushy job already lined up? Then came the tech layoffs. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, sent emails First it was Meta, with their overinvestment into the metaverse. I didn't think too much of it at the time because it seemed like they were just a unique case that overextended in a bad market. Then companies like Lyft, Snapchat, Robinhood, and Twilio started doing layoffs, and eventually, Amazon got hit too. Amazon's layoffs were small, although 10,000 people is a large amount to lay off, it's only about 2% of their corporate workforce compared to Meta's and Snapchat's layoffs, which were both over 10% of their respective companies. With that in mind, and because I didn't receive any email or message from my mentor or manager, I thought our team was safe. Throughout the next week though, many posts came flooding into the front page of my LinkedIn with previous team members informing their networks that they'd been laid off. Of course, this left me incredibly worried about where the status of my return offer stood. And as of this moment, I still have no idea whether or not I still have a job there. My manager is no longer responding to my texts, and the people I've talked to at Amazon have given me mixed signals. The advice from the source I trust most told me to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst, where the worst is, in this case, finding a new job. You might be asking at this point what all this has to do with why Elite Code is hard, and I promise I'll get to that in a second. For the past month, I've been busy touching up my resume, applying to new positions, and rebuilding the Leet code skills I'd forgotten years ago. The first few questions back were really easy to get into. To sum, buy and sell stock and valid parentheses gave me an initial confidence boost that I would have what it took to get back to where I was before. But as I moved from easy problems to medium ones, my confidence took a huge hit. Problems that I'd solved years ago had become incredibly challenging to the point where I couldn't think of a solution even after spending an hour staring at the problem description and its examples. Not being able to solve these questions really frustrated me and it made me question my ability and my intelligence. It would have certainly felt impossible if I hadn't known that I'd already completed many of these problems in the past. More and more as I went on completing problems, I found myself often switching to different tabs to watch YouTube instead of attempting a problem if I couldn't figure out a solution quickly. I didn't want to face the reality that I didn't know what the answer was and resorted instead to watching something that would distract me from that reality. This was in contrast to what I did after my freshman year. Back then, I spent a lot of time watching tutorials on different algorithms and worked my way up from the easiest of problems to more difficult problems as I got acquainted with solving these code questions. I had known that there was a lot that I didn't know, accepted that, and worked on what I did know and learned what I didn't know in order to progress. This time around, I had a little bit more hubris. Because I'd solved so many questions in the past, I assumed that I'd have a lot of the same knowledge as I did after the first go around. I believed that I was smart and that I could solve most, if not all, medium problems already, and certainly all of the easy problems. So when I was finally hit with that first problem I couldn't solve, my mental state was really shaken. Reality and my view of reality that I was capable were at odds, and because I didn't want to face the reality that I sucked at Lee Code again, I distracted myself. So here's the big punchline. Getting good at Lee Code is hard because it forces you to be horrible at something. I was always told growing up that I was very intelligent. In elementary school, I was part of a group of a couple of kids that had their own smart kid class that met every week. My grades in high school were straight A's even though I barely studied. And I'm not saying this to brag at all, I think a lot of you listening probably had similar experiences. You were told you were smart from a young age and didn't face any real adversity academically until college, and even maybe still you haven't. This is all fine and dandy until there is something that really challenges you and forces you to understand that you're not as knowledgeable as you think. Being a beginner at a new skill or hobby or subject is hard. You're so incredibly clueless and it feels overwhelming sometimes, especially when it's something you don't love but you have to do anyways. That's what Lee Code is for me now on this second go around. It's really not something that I love to do, but when it comes to recruiting, it's a must. My crucial error recently was tying my intelligence to my ability to solve Lee Code questions. I did this unconsciously and the reason why was because you have to use your brain to solve these problems on Lee Code. So it kind of stands to reason that if you can't solve a problem, it's because you weren't smart enough to figure it out. This really messed me up because when I couldn't solve problems that I thought I could, it didn't just show me that I wasn't good at Lee Code anymore. It also said that I was stupid. This is one of the dumbest things that you can do when you're learning something new, but we do it all the time. I played a little bit of chess online recently and every loss absolutely killed me because of how idiotic I felt afterwards since I believed that the smarter you are, the better you are at chess. Not being able to solve certain questions on Lee Code threatens my perception of my intelligence in the same way. So now you might be thinking, how does this knowledge help me in any way? There's a great book on mindset by Carol Dweck that describes the two different types of mindsets, fixed mindsets and growth mindsets. People with fixed mindsets 
scientists believe that if you're bad at something initially, you'll be bad at it forever. In short, they don't really believe in improvement. I know it sounds stupid, and maybe you're even questioning who would ever think like that, but when I feel like an idiot after not being able to solve a question, that's the fixed mindset talking, thinking I won't be able to get any better and that I'm just stupid. The growth mindset, on the other hand, recognizes that improvement is very possible and that if you're bad at something, you're just inexperienced and you can get better by studying and learning and then eventually doing. Bringing this back to leak code, it's clear that with the growth mindset, it's not right to instantly view myself as stupid once I'm unable to solve a leak code problem. Instead, it's just a pretty clear indicator that I haven't had enough experience recently to have the knowledge to be able to solve that problem. With that in mind, the next course of action is either to take a step back and learn from other simpler problems or to glance at the solution to pick up some hints to be able to solve that same problem. Once again, you're not dumb, stupid, or incapable of becoming a software engineer if you can't solve a problem. You're just a little too inexperienced for the caliber of problem that you're facing. So with all of that being said, here's my final simple call to action. Next time you're completely stumped on a leak code question or frankly anything challenging for that matter, remind yourself that you're not a fucking idiot even though your brain may want to tell you that. You just haven't learned, experienced, or been taught enough to properly understand exactly how to do what's set out in front of you and that's okay. Take a step back, channel the growth mindset, figure out whatever it is you need to figure out and learn whatever it is you need to learn and you'll be able to accomplish what you set out to do.